welcome to another one of our videos. Today we're going to be doing a review of a Diode Dynamics C1R hitch mount LED reverse pod. This is a pretty new product, at least at the time of filming this video from Diode Dynamics, that is essentially a little cube light pod that slides into your hitch receiver and uh, connects to your trailer wiring. And basically, depending on the version that you get, the basic version I believe will provide a running light and a reverse light. The version that I got provides a running light, a flashing brake light, which is really nice to attract people's attention so as to not rear-end you, and in that reverse light as well. So essentially, when you put your truck in reverse, you get a super bright white uh, light output, and then whenever you're braking, you get that flashing light that flash, flash, flashes, and then stays solid, I believe. And then whenever you're just driving around and your running lights are on, your clearance lights are on, uh, anything like that, that's uh, going to light up uh, just with a uh, little bit not as bright, a uh, little bit dimmer, uh, red light. So the version that I got is the, the fully featured version, so to speak. It's got all of those features. They ship it in a nice little box, give you a diodynamic sticker, which is kind of cool. And the first thing I want to do is start out by showing you what comes in the box. And I have not opened this yet, so we will see together what this comes with. It looks like a bunch more stickers that are interesting. They're white and they're die cut, it looks like. Um, I could be wrong about that. It could just be printed or white on clear, but those are some interesting looking stickers. And then it looks like, ah, there we go. So they've got some interesting little cardboard packaging there. We have the hitch mounted pod itself. And we have a nice little wiring harness for this as well. So basically the way this thing works, and we'll go through the whole installation procedure here in a minute. This thing will slide into your uh, hitch receiver and just basically click into place. These are the holes right here where your uh, hitch ball pin would go through. Um, you can still lock this in place basically with a, pin, uh, with a pin if you cut these tabs off, but this will just slip into place and it's just a standard diode dynamics uh, little lamp uh, otherwise. So we've got that and it comes with the wiring harness here, which we'll open up and see what that looks like bunch of zip ties and a twisty tie falling out of there. It looks like, uh, all right, so we've got seven pin harness pass through. Pull this apart and kind of identify what's going on as we look at it. Yep, so we've got our seven pin connector pass through for our trailer wiring. And then this right here is the safety strobe module. So this is for the fourth bright light function. If you get a standard one, it may not have this box on there. And then this is just a standard Deutsch connector that plugs into the, the lamp like so. So looks like that's probably going to be enough wiring for my application. I'm going to be installing this on my uh, 2011 F-150 Raptor. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, head out onto the truck. It's nighttime right now, but I'll do that whenever it's nice and light outside and we'll see what it takes to install this thing. Should be pretty darn straightforward. All right, so we're here at my truck now where we're gonna be installing this and the hitch mount pod obviously goes right here. Our seven pin connector that we tap into is right here and the jumper harness is right there. So showing you how we do this on the uh, F-150. If I set up my little tripod right here and get it positioned such that my phone doesn't fall over. You can see our seven pin connector right here. And basically what we need to do in the case of the F-150 is just push down the tab that's up here on the top, push it down. I already have it slid out and slide that out. Now we have a bunch of grease and everything in here, dielectric grease it looks like. That's fine, you don't need to do anything crazy there. But what you do need to do is plug in the long end, hopefully you can see it on camera, right here of the harness into your factory wiring which should go in nice and snug like so make sure that's tightened in place and then plug in this end right here up into the uh, hitch receiver right here in doing that and I'll double check that this is fully connected here in a second. 
in doing that, uh, you're able to basically tap in using that factory hitch wiring while still retaining the hitch wiring. So you can still flip your cover open, connect a trailer, and you're good to go. So we're going to go ahead and feed this. Now, through the hitch receiver, the back side of it, most of them are going to have plenty of uh, opening. Yours may or may not. Most trucks do. Some very select few don't. And we're now ready to connect our pod on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and reposition the camera so you can see that a little better on the connection side. And we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so you can see we have our Deutsch connector coming out the front side of here. This is all pre-wired, so we don't need to worry about any of the pan outs or anything like that. We have the back side of our light here. You can see the keyway, keyway, plugs in no problem. And that's that. Now installation of the pod into the receiver. All we do is press in those tabs on the side and it should just slide into place. And then it kind of clicks into place there. It's a little loose there. If you want, you could probably use some uh, rubber, foam, felt, something like that. We're gonna go ahead and run it like that for now and see how it goes. So um, that's now in place and this should, in theory, work just fine now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of tie wrapping up underneath here, um, just to uh, tie the wiring out of the way of my spare tire. And then we'll go ahead and demonstrate some of the functions. All right, so just for reference, if you happen to have an F-150 Raptor of the first generation variety, this is how I just tied up my wiring. So this just folds up up here. I zip tied a uh, factory wiring harness a little bit further up there. There's a factory tie down right there as well. And then the uh, Deutsch connector harness that goes to the light itself. I just looped through this clip that's seemingly unused on these trucks and then just zip tied everything together to the factory wiring harness that's right there. So we're ready to go ahead and demo. Okay, so here we are at the back of the truck idling it in park. We'll go ahead and hit the brakes to start with to demo that. You can see the flashing light down at the bottom. We'll do that again, let off and let back on. So you can see that. Whenever we let off the brakes, you can see the running light. It's a dimmer red. And if we put the truck in reverse, you'll be able to see the backup light. You can see that comes on with the backup light right there. And if we go back into park, back to the brake light, and then we let off the brakes, and it's gonna be back to the running light after that. Works perfectly. So. I'll keep you guys updated as far as longevity of this thing goes and how well it works over time, but I'm super happy with the product to start off with. It's not super cheap, but it's not super expensive for what it is, and for me, the flashing brake light safety aspect is what sold me on it. That's, that's the biggest thing for me, uh, by far. So, with that, I want to thank you all for watching. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any questions, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.